Welcome to Hold Your Power, guys, and part one of my three-part series on how to get ready for love. So let me ask you, are you in a relationship and feeling like love is slipping away? Or do you feel like you always meet the wrong man or woman and end up hurt? Or asking yourself, how in the world did I end up with that person? Or maybe you're single, married, divorced, or widowed and have not dated in a while and do not know where to start. Do you think you are too old to be dating or falling in love again? If you find yourself in any of these categories, keep listening and let us work together at getting you ready for love. It is my core belief that love will happen without you having to search for it. Just work hard to make yourself available to receive it. Knowing what you want is to first know exactly what it is you do not want. So in part one of this video, we will talk about some of the things you should do before venturing out and inviting love into your heart. The first thing you must do to get ready for love is to work on yourself from the inside out. Remember, love starts with you. Do you shower yourself with love or do you look for an outside person to make you feel good about yourself? Start loving you. And of course, you know that goes along with eating right, exercise, and thinking positive about yourself. Work hard at replacing your negative thoughts. Do not pass a mirror without giving a shout out to yourself. If you know you can be nasty and ugly at times, work on changing it for a lifetime. Otherwise, be prepared to attract people that can be just as mean as you are. If you learn during your lifetime what love feel and look like, you're more unlikely to tolerate being around unloving people or those who are able to give or receive love. Know what you want to make from the inside out first. If you say you want a good man or woman, ask yourself, what do good look like? If your spirit is filled with love, grace, patience, kindness, empathy for others, but your mate is totally the opposite, you will more than likely have problems. So it is very important to know what qualities you desire in a mate before your heart gets involved. Similar characteristics in a relationship will more likely work, and I believe it is a good place to be in when starting a relationship. Now that you have started reinventing yourself on the inside, let's continue with the outside attraction of who you are and what you should be doing to get ready for love. Work on being who you have always wanted to be and work on it until it becomes you. If you want a new look, change it. If you are satisfied with the look you have right now, perfect it. If you are overweight and love it, Embrace it. If you need to lose some pounds, work on it. But wherever you are at, you need to know this. Weight is not an option or issue when someone is not attractive to a size 2 or a size 10. And they happen to see you walking around looking and smelling good while swinging those hips. Or they see a nicely dressed attractive male looking like a buffed up teddy bear. So don't let your size fool you. Take care of your hair, keep it trimmed and styled. Keep your nails clean and set to go. Moisturize and lotion your body with the best products your money can buy to maintain that soft glowing skin. And care for your feet like your life depended upon it. Keep a fresh breath and a super, super smile. Tackle your wardrobe and add on new pieces just because. Buy outfits for special occasions and guess what? It doesn't matter if you don't have one coming up. The key here is to be ready for love. And don't forget, Keep your JJ and jackhammer clean. Keep preparing Power Radiance. And remember, you're setting yourself up 
to be ready for love. Know what you want. If you say you want a handsome man or a pretty woman, ask yourself, what does this man or woman look like in your mind? Then list the things you want in a mate. Be as detailed as possible with yourself. Should he or she be tall, short? What about race or length of hair? Is it okay if they have missing teeth? What about weight, shoe size, smell? Do you want a man or woman with a husky musk smell? Or a strawberry vanilla smell? Or just a fresh smell? Should they be loud, quiet, shy, or outgoing? What about age? Would you date an older man or woman? If so, how much older? What about career education? Would that be a deal breaker for you? Your list may be short or long, but the key here is putting down what you think or believe you want in a mate. Now that you have your list, look it over carefully and X out the things that you absolutely say, no way. This is a darn deal breaker. With your revised list, positive attitude, and new look, you are one step closer, Power Rainians, to having the love you want. But you have more work to do, Power Rainians. So stay tuned for part two on how to get ready and step out for love and the three words you should run from. We will also talk about not giving away the strawberry for JJ and keeping your gold jackhammer zipped up. So let's get ready for love and remember, Power Rainians, hold your power.